<laughs> Let's talk about cancel culture on the show. We often talk about it and if people can come back from being canceled and when they should be allowed back. So if you can recall, this is Jeffrey Tubin, and he got in serious trouble last fall. He was on a work Zoom call when he was seen by his coworkers doing some very inappropriate things of a sexual nature. And as a result, he was fired from the New Yorker magazine and suspended from his job as a legal analyst on CNN. But yesterday he made a return to the network. And here's what Jeffrey Tubin himself explained about the situation. This was deeply moronic and indefensible, but I mean that that is part of that that is part of the story. Um, and you know, I have spent the seven subsequent months, miserable months in my life, I can certainly confess, um, trying to be a better person. I mean, in therapy, trying to do some public service, um, working in a food bank, which I certainly am going to continue to do. A food bank? Okay. I think, he, I think he was working at a different kind of bank. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> You bad. All right. What do you think about Jeffrey's return on CNN? Weird. Should he be allowed back? We're all laughing and stuff, but I was shocked that CNN allowed this person back into their fold after what happened. There are a lot of good legal analysts. I didn't think Jeffrey Tubin was that good that he could have done what he did, gotten away with it on work hours, and still be okay to just be there. I was shocked. I'll start because we talked a little bit about this before we started. So. I would be a hypocrite if I said that this man didn't have a way, a path back, right? Because I always want people to have a path back. We were kind of giggling at this. I think this is a little bit different than the usual cancel culture. I'm trying to balance this panel out it's here because I know where you guys are going to go. But um, do you think he just, should have been returned? I, I just don't know if he brings enough to CNN right. To, right. to be like, hey, man, here's your you're coming back. I don't mind if he gets another job, but a place at the same table. Right. I don't know. That I, but I want him I want him to have a path back. So the, on the one hand, his call that he was doing inappropriate things on was for the New Yorker. It was a Zoom call for them and not for CNN. And so that's like his side job fire, firing you for something you do at your day-to-day -day job. And so still, he just, it's just like, what is the protocol? As somebody who's grown, you understand that even if you just got off a work call during work hours where you are working or writing or whatever you're doing, why are you doing inappropriate things during that time? And he He's an adult. And so it's just like, who do we let back? Who do we not let back? Right. Some people have really egregious acts where they say racist stuff. And then even if you let them back or give them a path to redemption, there are organizations specifically laid out that they can meet with to learn more and do better. With him, I don't really know how he's, a, he's food going bank to a food bank is going to help out. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't understanding the connection. No, I didn't understand that. Al, can you help us you out? Know, Lindsay, I think you, you hit it on the head when you were like, you know, I, I think that he's in a place where he didn't do anything so egregious that he can't come back. He did something super embarrassing. Dude, I think so, it's super egregious. I, it, it, look, it, it could be considered in some circles sexual assault, almost like, you know, if you were doing that, you know, in somebody's window, like a peeping Tom. So if somebody at CNN was like, I, this is triggering for me, I cannot work with this person, I don't think we'd be having this conversation. But I think everybody was like, this is somebody we've worked with for years, no matter how we feel about them. We, we don't really care about legal analysts. I don't think anybody's a fan of any of them. <laughs> But, you know, you know, like, so they're not, they're not so famous. So I think that they're like, this is somebody we like and trust. They did something embarrassing. I don't want to see his whole career come down because, I mean, this will follow him forever. Okay. Well, I think he should have been let go and not returned, and they should have hired someone else. I really do. But do you think there's a path back for any of these Absolutely. things? Absolutely. I agree with you. Have another job. Find another job. Absolutely. He was not fired from his full-time job, though. We have to remember, this is like his side job. So he was fired from the New Yorker, that, and that's a done, finalized deal with CNN. I just like, don't know why bring someone back with that that did that. They would never do that if, if anyone did that in the why, actual office. Instead of saying food bank, why don't you play the I'm a, I'm a sex addict card? That's, that's what I was Al thinking. Al said the same thing. You, that's, that's an excuse same for everything. Thing. I understand that there there are sex addicts out there. We, we differ about that all the time, but just play that card. That's what I thought he was going to do. Yeah. yeah, interesting. Let us know what you think. Well, with the food all bank. right, this <laughs> food bank.